I'll speak normal speed, so hopefully uh, everybody can understand me. I'm sorry, I'm an English speaker, uh, so I won't be able to, to speak in your native languages, uh, and I know there's a variety of them uh, here today. Um, so thank you guys for having me. Uh, I'm Colin Griffin. I'm here today representing the Platforms Working Group uh, with the CNCF. Um, a sh quick show of hands, how many of you are aware of the Platforms Working Group with the CNCF? And awesome. Perfect. Surprising, I know. Uh, how many of you are familiar with the maturity model? Awesome. Is anybody using the maturity model in practice today? Eh, we'll get more of you uh, there. How about the white paper? My last question. Awesome. Great. Well, today I'm going to give you a quick update of uh, the platform's working group, uh, what we're working on, and how to work together with us. Let's jump there. So uh, a quick thank you. Uh, I am uh, newly appointed as a co-lead on the working group, so it's an honor to be able to present this stuff to you today. Uh, the other co-leads of the working group are Josh Gavant, Abby Bangzer, uh, who you've heard from already, um, Robert Strand, uh, and then me, Colin Griffin. So. Who is the Platform Working Group? Um, we're a diverse group of collaborators. We are people uh, from all walks of technology development, whether data teams, uh, application development teams, platform engineers, IT folks, um, all across the board. Um, we also have a, a large variety of industry experience. Uh, we're seeing people from FinTech, healthcare tech, uh, from tech, tech, you name it. Uh, we're covering just about every industry. I think one of the unique things about the working group uh, that I've been able to experience is that uh, we're not only a group of people that are developing capabilities and products that people can use in their platforms to deliver those capabilities, but this is the most diverse group of end users and and vendors that we have seen as well. And those end users and vendors are participating to tell us their stories and their practical uh, implementations and how they've approached platform development. And it's been an incredibly valuable experience to get insights into platform engineering and the practices of growth from all different kinds of perspectives. So the working group's goal is to surface industry experience uh, with internal uh, platforms and platform engineering teams and to develop patterns, practices, and terminology to help those companies develop platform engineering patterns and practices. Seems pretty straightforward, but I think everybody in the room knows that that's a tall order. There's a lot of different ways to approach this problem, and that's why we're all here today. So what's platform engineering really about? Platform engineering is more than just providing efficient tools and processes to our end users or our internal developers or our data teams. Right? It's about providing end users and those teams, no matter what the type, with the tools they need to work together effectively. And that's near and dear to my heart. I'm still a practicing applications developer. So, uh, here, as platform engineering, the ultimate purpose is we want to make lives easier for those end developers. That may sound really cheesy, as we would say in the States, but that's really what it falls back to. So a quick thank you to everybody that's actually here. You literally, literally are here today to make other people's lives better and easier, whether it's your developers, your data teams, whoever. So like, please, it's really cheesy, but a quick round of applause for yourselves. Like, seriously, it's awesome to see this evolving as a practice. So thank you guys for being here. So the Platforms Working Group has some key initiatives that we're working on right now, uh, and there are ways that you can contribute and collaborate. Um, obviously, you're aware of the white paper. We're continuing to iterate on the platform's white paper, so patterns for uh, what platform implementation looks like and how to stitch these parts and pieces together. Um, also, the platform maturity model, there were a lot of shows of hands. We're continuing to iterate on that as well. 
Um, and finally, we've published a glossary of terminology. So through research, through actually talking with these end users and the diverse groups, we get 30 plus people on these calls. Please join us. There's a lot of great conversation. Um, we've determined and we know we need to help provide and define terminology for uh, end user perspective, so how did developers approach platform engineering and what terminology did they use, but also we as platform engineers, how do we provide terminology and communicate with each other when we're communicating these practices. So the glossary's goal is to help surface that terminology and the different types of terminology. Um, the two key initiatives that we have going on right now are the research around uh, platform as a product. Uh, platform engineering and that practice has evolved and we know the evolution of DevOps and everything there, but one key piece is the ability to empathize and understand the needs of your end users and provide them with the appropriate capabilities and serve and deliver those capabilities as product. Um, and that's one of these key initiatives. Uh, to help define and do research around that. And then also, uh, we've got an initiative to get industry feedback and provide an easier way to contribute. So for platform as a product, you'll see some of these faces uh, around KubeCon uh, as well and today. A uh, quick thank you to Michael Luskind, uh, Dominic Kress, and David Stangline for spearheading and driving a lot of that conversation forward. It takes a lot of work, um, and they're doing a great job of facilitating those conversations. So uh, platform as a product research um, is geared around development of a platform as a product white paper, um, researching the approaches, tools, and patterns for delivering the platform as a product, so methods of delivering as well. And we need practical experience from industry, and we want to synthesize all of this research into those publications and provide that guidance. Um, one of the nice things, again, who can help and participate? Um, Platforms Working Group is in a unique position to collaborate with both end user companies, vendor companies, uh, as well as the project uh, owners, the, the publishers, and the capability providers of these tools as well. So we need everyone to provide their perspectives, because as platform engineers, even the people that are developing the software are important, right? So we need those people developing the software that needs to be adoptable by platform teams to contribute as well. So obligatory QR codes. If you would like to participate in the research and are willing to share your experience and journey, please fill out this really, really easy Google form that the QR code will link you to. And I made sure it worked before the presentation, but yell at me if it doesn't. Um, but the QR code will take you to that form. Uh, please submit that, and it'll be important in a minute, but we would like you guys to at least let us know that you're willing to contribute, and we can help facilitate that conversation afterwards. Really, really easy form. The next key piece is the uh, industry feedback and contribution framework. We quickly realized that we need more people to be able to contribute more freely and easily. And so we've developed some patterns that we've published on the GitHub, as well as in the uh, tag app delivery site to help you understand how to contribute. So the publication process is very simple. First, join the conversation, go to the working group page, find the regular meetings. Uh, we meet once a month every second Tuesday. Um, so join in, at least listen in, don't be afraid. It's a great conversation. Um, and everybody that's in there is providing great insights. Um, once you're ready, just propose an idea. If there's a gap, if something's missing, if you have a unique approach, propose an idea on the GitHub. And there's a, a, an issue framework for that as well. What we'll do second to that is we'll review the idea, discuss it as a part of the group, or maybe we'll ask you to discuss it as part of one of the working group meetings, and we'll find a sponsor for the idea, somebody that can help facilitate and review through the publication process. And then we'll work with you through the development and review process and publish that straight to the blog and the pages via a pull request. So a little bit of GitOps for publication, right? So really, really easy. Um, Here's a QR code you can use if you would like to contribute. I know everyone here is going to have a lot of opinions as the day goes on for what you should be uh, publishing, for what guidance we should be providing, what we got wrong. That's totally OK if we got something wrong, right? We should. Um, so please submit and contribute your ideas, and we'll help provide guidance and facilitate for the rest of the industry. So at KubeCon, find us at the Tag App Delivery booth. 
Um, there will be lightning talks as well as lightning interviews. So if you fill out the QR code on that previous form, and I'll pop that back up real quick, fill out this QR code and then uh, let us know if you're attending KubeCon and would like to do one of those uh, lightning interviews as well. And we'll walk you through the interview process and help you decide if contributing further is something that you would like to do as part of your story. Now, again, as part of that story, we'd like to surface industry experience. We'd like to tell the story of end users and help surface how people have approached platform engineering. It will be incredibly valuable to the rest of the industry. Uh, so please feel free to share. And I'm sure your marketing teams will love you as well. So, that's all I've got. That's our update. But again, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for, for helping, for contributing. You are here to make your own lives easier, my life easier, right, as a developer. Um, and I'm super excited to learn from everybody today. Uh, please feel free to talk to me or Abby or any of the other contributors as we're here. Um, and we look forward to, to talking with you guys further and delivering more content. So thank you.